This is Raptor News. You know, I've been reading these scriptures for years, and people can sit around and listen to you for years. They can attend your services for years and still not get one thing that you are saying because God has blocked it out of their heart and their mind. All they hear is your tone going, ah. Uh. With that said, I'm going to read to you a common verse that we all know that's on a straight path. Luke 4, 8, Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. That verse was in Deuteronomy before it was in Luke. And it states, fear the Lord your God, serve him only, and take your oaths in his name. So when I read that to people, they get, okay, serve God only. But people who love the Lord get something more out of that. And here's what we get. If you are living your life to serve the Lord only, then your life and your death and everything about you is for God. If your service, which is your conduct, which is your deeds, which is your work ethic, which is how you get along with people, is less than, well, that's how you're serving the Lord. Less than. If I was to tell you to go in the kitchen because God reached out to us and spoke and said he would like for us to make him a dinner individually. So each of us is going to present for him a dinner just like Cain and Abel presented a sacrifice or an offering to the Lord. What would you go in the kitchen and make and how would it be? Because if I'm going to be serving the Lord a plate, you know, a dinner plate. First of all, that's going to have to be the biggest, grandest, goldish dinner plate that it ever was. It would have to be made out of gold. We would have to sell the house to make, just to get the plate. And then you understanding what service to God mean instead of this meeky or ochre stuff that people who don't get the verses, you know, you know live through so basically uh it would be the best of the best of the best on that plate it'd be roasted calves roasted lambs it would be chickens and and everything and uh turkeys whatever whatever's on there it would be all the trimmings it'd be decked out i mean it would be fruits they would all be cut up and designed and this would be for the lord and nothing would have a brown spot on it Everything will be cooked magnificently because this is for God. Well, that's how he's saying to live your life. Because if you only serve him, your services is for only him, then you're not really doing things for people. You're not doing things for the boss. You're not doing things for your mother and your father, your family, the believers. Everything that you do, say, act, think, it's all for the Most High God. And so, if you are just serving God only, now, if you look at your life, how are you serving God? Every moment, God has, has his eye on you. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere. He was never absent at any time or place. He's been watching you. He knows about you from the womb, right? So you ain't going to get on the judgment day. You know, you ain't going to get up there and think you're going to deceive God. He know every little weird, crooked, freaky thing you ever did. Let's keep going. Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, then, whatever you your task may be, work from your soul. That is to put in your very best effort. If all your services and sacrifices for the most high God, it's just like if you was going to serve God that dinner plate he asked for. It better be awesome. You better be given 100% as something done for the Lord and not for men. 
it, it, it's a difference. You don't, you just don't be like Cain and say, well, I had some extra stuff that I didn't want in my garden. It was wiltering and making the garden look bad. So here, here you go, God, you can have those things. I didn't really want it. Or you go into the store and somebody asks you for some money because they hungry and you throw uh, three rusty pennies at them. That's all I got for you. That ain't the service God is looking for. Let's keep going. Numbers 18, 29. Out of all your gifts, you shall offer every heave offering of the Lord of all the best thereof. God is looking for the best. God don't look for mediocre. He's looking for extraordinary. And, and, and in order to be extraordinary, you got to do the first thing in it. Extra. You got to be better than everybody else. You got to shine. Your light has to keep going on. Because this is a balance system. If you put in 100% in this balance system, you'll get out 100%. As you sow, you'll reap. If you put in smiles and peace and love and joy and happiness, the fruits of the spirit, that's how your life shall be. Somebody could be living in the same house and be miserable, ready to cut their throat. But you won't be like that because you know to put in nothing but good into this system so you can get nothing but good out of it. Of course, we go through our trials and tribulations to be proved by God. But like he said, he'll open up a window and a door and he will um, set you free out of all of them. Deuteronomy 10, 12. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and soul. Did, did, did he say serve the government? You know, the Christian church? You know, people. Most people live their life for people. And God speaks and he said, that is your reward. If you're doing things to please and appease people, so people can look at you and say, you know what, they all right. You know what, they clothes is cool. You know what, they know how to dress. Ooh, her hair is a bomb. That is your reward. Those little stupid ass compliments that really ain't a compliment I say to my children I say hey, look if there was nobody in the world but you would your hair be on fleas you know what I mean would your nails be done would you put on a pound of makeup would you put on them tight damn booty shorts right would you get all dressed up and, and perfumed up every day or would you live in a fucking cardboard box because you ain't got nobody to impress? I think it would be C. You know. <laughs> Deuteronomy, uh, I mean, First Chronicles 13, 8. And David and all of Israel played before God with all their might. Just like I said, if you're going to do something for God, it better be your best. And with singing and with hearts and with what does that say? Psalteries? Whatever. And with trembles. I don't know what this word is. And with cymbals and with trumpets. I got the, the bad definition part. So the whole thing is with all their might. Everything that they had, they were singing and playing before God. With everything they had. I mean, they was on key. I mean, they, they was moving and grooving, right? And then we'll go back up to the top. You're not serving mankind. You're not serving the government. You're not serving your job. You're not serving your children, your husband, or your wife. You're serving the Most High God only. And in that service to the Most High God, you need to be 100%. This is God. This is Raptor News.